Shalom, call Hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Rakatha, Rakatham, so all you sincere brothers and sisters out there. Um, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the whole folks scattered abroad. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida, and I want to give double honors oh, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us the truth and truth and sincerity. And real quick, I want to go into this video on um, something I saw uh, this morning. Um, the post is from TikTok, uh, but first let me grab the scripture. Luke chapter 21, verse 11 in the KJV. Um, let me go to, let me go to verse 9. It says, but when ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not by and by. And we hear about this thing with Israel and Hamas, uh, Russia and Ukraine. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. The, the, the great and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, where which just means earthquakes where there's a lot of people, a lot of death, which happened not too long ago. We, we, know, we, know we did videos on it. I forgot exactly where it was. Maybe um, one of those African um, countries. They got a, uh, you know, they got done. Uh, oh, um, Morocco. I believe it was Morocco. A lot of people died. It says, and famines, they're talking about a lot of shortage of food, of, of uh, famines of biblical proportion, and pestilences, he's talking about, oh, I saw a post brother said how you got all these migrants coming here at the border, and, you know, they're having a, a, a epidemic of fucking diarrhea, okay, because a lot of people coming in with different diseases. It says, and fearful sights, but here's the point, and great signs shall there be from heaven, okay, great signs shall there be from heaven. Which brings me to this right here. It says, when you realize that tomorrow, which is today, Friday the 13th, and it's a full moon and also a solar eclipse the day after. OK, so um, there's going to be a solar eclipse tomorrow. Today is Friday the 13th. And I just grabbed some some, um, some, some information on that about the solar eclipse. It says solar eclipse of October 14, 2023. So that's tomorrow. You know, just, just to clarify, make sure where everything was true. It says this sat the Saturday, October 14th, 2023, uh, a annual, a annular solar eclipse will be will cross North, Central and South America. It will be visible in parts of the United States, Mexico and so on. OK, probably Canada, they don't say. But um, yeah, so there's going to be a solar eclipse that's going to take place tomorrow and it's going to come over the West, which is here in America. Um. You know, we, 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 we are here in the United States and something is coming. OK, some great judgment is coming. Let's go into Friday the 13th, which is today. It says Friday the 13th. Meaning I just look these things up real quick. Friday the 13th combines two taboos that comes from the Bible, according to Stevens, based on the th story of the Last Supper of Yahushai, who they called Jesus. Thirteen people were seated at the table and it happened on a Thursday. He was arrested that evening and crucified the next day on a Friday. So 13 is associated with that terrible event. So that's where you get Friday the 13th from. You got the, the, the movies, Friday the 13th, what I believe is um, either Freddy Krueger or um, Jason, one of those movies, which is um, those movies derived from over here in the West as well. But basically, the main thing is that, you know, um, something is coming. OK, something is brewing. OK, some great judgment is about to come upon this place, man. The Lord is about to turn this place upside down. Look at this Israel Netanyahu's office publishes graphic photos. I ain't going to go go too, too far into that. But it, but but yeah, it's a lot going on in the world. OK, and something I was watching the Elder Apostle Tahar's video, his recent video. And he, and he put he put it on um, Odyssey about how now Biden's trying to build a wall to keep people in. OK, with biometrics, which we're going to this word biometrics. Uh, biometric, it says pertaining to biometric, bi uh, um, biometry, it says pertaining to noting or using a person's unique physical or other traits for the purpose of identification and security. And they're talking about having a biometric system at the border to, 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 to measure and detect and track who comes in and who, and who goes out. You know, I also did a video a couple weeks ago about how Mexico is also building a wall. And the, the guy, one, of the, one of the builders said himself, he said, Mexico's building a wall. Did you know that? And, he said, and the guy was trying to be funny. Hey, Trump's in jail. You don't have to build a wall anymore. 
He said, Mexico's building a wall. Did you know that? And the guy was like, huh? <laughs> he said, he's building a wall because they, they know that, that the American dollar is about to collapse. And they're building a wall to keep people in. Okay? Because America's about to be one big prison camp. Okay? One big concentration camp. And um, I'm going to have to put this on my other channel. If he's watching this, you might watch and watch my other. Because I got striked. I got striked for the um, the Israel, the truth about the Israel and Hamas video, which I knew was coming, you know, but I had to put that information out, you know, uh, 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 quite a few people watched it. So all praises. I pray it was edifying to the hopeful elect, man. But yeah, something is definitely coming down the pike, man. Something is definitely coming down the pike. Let me go read this again. It says, um, <laughs> and this is Luke, where we, and all these things that I, that I just read in this chat, in, in this couple of verses, we're seeing it happening right now. So though we're not, the end is not going to come tomorrow, maybe not next week, but, um, you know, it's definitely, it, it, it's definitely looming, man. Okay. And they just might bring out this Karagma very, very soon and make this thing, you know, a, a, a big thing in the earth. Lord willing, before this year is over with, it says, um, Luke chapter 21 and something's going to happen. That's going to cause that. Okay. Something's going to happen. That's going to cause them to act, you know, whether it's, uh, a, a, a false, um, F L A G going on or, you know, something, you know, it's going to actually happen. But it says in NLT, it says Luke 21 and 11 in NLT, there will be great earthquakes and there will be famines and plagues in many lands. And there will be terrifying things and great miraculous signs from heaven. So an eclipse is a miraculous sign from heaven. Okay. This is why we put to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Be serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So Lord willing, we can be saved. We're coming into a time like never before. Let me grab that. Um, and the Lord is, uh, he, he, he is, he is preparing, preparing his flock. You know, let me grab this. I mean, not, let's do this time of tribulation. You know, we got Jacob's trouble. Okay. And and like I said, they're building those borders at the wall to keep you people in. Right right now, they're letting everybody come in this border. I got a, I got a video. I, I meant to go into it. But I haven't got a chance yet. But there's a video that came out last week of literally like hundreds of people just storming the border. And you have all the border patrol just sitting up there with their hands in their pockets smoking a cigarette. The guy pulled out a cigarette started smoking a cigarette. Saying <laughs> like, fuck, we're getting fired. They just, you know, when people, they, they stormed the, the, the border. So they're letting all these people in and um, it's going to go into it, 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 it's going to come into pretty much destruction. You know, then they're going to lock the border up and everybody going to be in here wilding the fuck out, man. Don't be surprised. You know, the days are very short. You know, the time is at hand where the Lord is about to show his power in this earth. OK, this is why we got to, you know, a hey, remain circumspect, you know, uh, remain diligent, you know, keep uh, keep that fire burning, man, because at the end of the day, this shit is about to get nasty. OK, this shit is about to get nasty. The only thing that's going to be able to save you is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Judges chapter 10, verse 14. Go and cry unto the gods which you have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of trouble. Yeah, because you people, you, everybody forsook Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You want to, you rather worship, not my Jesus. You rather worship Jesus, uh, Allah, who, whoever the hell. You speaking pre predominantly to you niggas. OK, you, you might still worship whatever the fuck they want to worship. You got these guys come out different names and. You know, with, with uh, Greek origins and shit, man. Come on, bro. It's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Um, let's go right here. And if you're not, and, and if you don't have those names, if you don't call upon those names in that day, you're going to be in trouble, bro. It's about to be total hell and chaos out here. Okay? And you want to be delivered from, from, from all that if, you know, the Lord is dealing with you. It says, um, I'll get right to the point. This is, um. Matthew chapter 24, verse 21. Let me go into the NLT. It says, for there will be greater anguish than any time since the world began. We're coming into a time of greater anguish, which I want to go into this word anguish. Let me grab it in a dictionary. Anguish. Okay. It says, excruciating or accurate distress. <laughs> Suffering or pain Ooh. to inflict with distress, suffering or pain to suffer, feel, exhibit anguish. That's what's coming. OK, let's bring it back for there will be a greater anguish, suffering or pain than since the world began. So think about slavery, World War One, World War Two. It says so. And it will be and it will never be so great again. So this is a time like never before in history and worse than a time that, can, that will ever be done again. OK. 
You got Jacob's Trouble. You got all hell breaking loose. You got uh, World War Three. You got the MOTB being established. People starving, pestilences, disease. You know these natural disasters. Okay, it's about to get nasty, and this is all the will of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and and hey, and, and we with it, man. We with it. We hoping the Lord bring this destruction sooner than later. It says, in fact, unless that time of calamity is shortened, not a single person will survive. You see, in fact, unless that time of calamity is shortened, not a single person will survive. But it will be shortened for the sake of God's chosen ones. OK, so this this time is going to be a time never before. And the Lord's going to speed up the times and shorten that um that period so that the elect don't don't be touched. man. So the, the elect don't be destroyed, whoever the elect may be. Um, the Lord is going to be looking out for his elect, man. He's going to have angels protecting you and guiding you in that day. But it's going to be bad for everybody else, man. Okay? It's going to be bad for everybody else. Okay? Let me grab this right here. It says, Matthew 24, verse 29, immediately after the, the anguish, which we, brought, we, we, we just went into that, of those days, the sun, the sun will be darkened, the moon will give no light, the stars will... will fall from the sky and the powers of heaven shall be shaken which is going into thermonuclear annihilation man okay that's what it is that's what it all leads up to eventually thermonuclear annihilation for america you want to be on the lord's good side when that time when that day does come you know you don't want to be caught up in that fire and that destruction man that's the whole thing is to is to make it out to be saved jake said well i'm saved in the blood of jesus nigga you don't know what, what it means to be saved okay you have no idea what it means to be saving but you're about to find out but the scripture talk about the strangeness of their salvation. Lord, I can grab that too real quick. It says, um, Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And I'll read it in, 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 in NLT. At that time, Michael, which is the archangel, the archangel, the angel of war, who stands guard over your nation, will arise. Then there will be a time of anguish. They keep talking about anguish. Okay? Suffering, pain. Then there will be a time of anguish greater than any since nations first came into existence but at that time every one of your people whose names is written in the book will be rescued so whoever the elect are they, they're gonna be good man all right whomever they may be and we pray and hope to be a part of that number let's grab this because everybody got a problem with uh the israelites and oh yeah yeah this and yeah that well guess what you gonna wish it was Israelite that day <laughs> okay you gonna wish you was an elect of israel Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. And that's the time that we're in where everybody who came up against the men of the Lord, you know, the ones who, you know, um, and, 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 you know, in this work that we do and even our work, you know, slavery, you people don't give a damn about that. They tell us to forget about our, our affliction, our oppression. But, oh, yeah, we got to remember what happened to this to the ish people. It says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. You're not going to expect to see so-called Negroes and, and Hispanics and Native Indians getting beamed up into chariots and getting delivered from impending doom, okay? And shall be amazed. They're going to be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for because they're looking for money. They, they, they're looking to win the lottery. They, 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 they're looking for Trump. They're looking for Biden to act right, Okay. Hey, hey, we're looking for y'all by some y'all shy to come and deliver us with those ships, man, those chariots, which they call UFOs. OK, and it sounds far fetched now, but it's but it's going to be really be far fetched whenever you see them missiles raining or, or, or impending rain. And uh, these people are getting beamed up, and, you know, with these beams. Matter of fact, there's a video, too. It's kind of off. It's by aliens. You know, it's, it's um, it's on it's on um, it's on uh, Netflix, not Netflix, Hulu. And it's called No One Can Save You. And it's about a, a, a woman that lives in a country, in, in like a, a rural land or whatever, in the country or whatever. And um, these aliens was fucking with her, which was pretty much demons. <laughs> they was fucking with her, man. And they showed you that tractor beam. And she was getting sucked up into that tractor beam. It, 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 it's, it's some far out shit. I thought it was a really good movie because it was kind of far out. But, um, you know, on, on the spiritual side, the Lord's going to do that with his angels. He's going to deliver us out of this, the fire, Lord, when we be of that number with uh, those, th those ships, man. OK, it says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish with what we said, suffering and pain of spirit shall say within themselves. This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb and reproach did this, dis dis disrespected, you know, uh, 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 thought little of, you know, thought that, 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 that the men of the Lord ain't shit. 
You know, we, we did some niggas. They told us to get a job. We, we got jobs, by the way. I'm in my job right now. It says, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. That's what they think. They think that at our, at our end, we're going to be, well, what are you going to do? Well, wait. Wait and see. We're already doing what we're going to do. How is he numbered among the children of God and his lot is among the saints, man? So, yeah, it's about to get nasty, man. And in this time, you know, this is time to, you know, trim, you know, um, you know, fast, pray, repent, you know, um, you know, keep these things in mind, you know, make sure that, that, that your spirit is right. Make sure you in the spirit of your whole and your all shy. And I want to say too, um, to anybody whose number I don't have, you know, if I offended you in any way, if I have trespassed you in any way, to lock you, you know, forgive me, you know, uh, sincerely from the bottom of my heart, because Hey, man, we, we, at the end of the day, our, our heart's desire is to be saved, man, to be delivered, you know, as long as our, fa as well as our families. And I pray for all you sincere brothers and sisters that you be delivered and your families, man. Cause this shit about to get crucial. Crucial. And the only way out, the only, you know, remedy. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. With that being said, I'm going to say Shalom, Paul Halal, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, 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 Yahweh Sh